Now, we all know that food can be quite the aphrodisiac. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. And here to heat things up in the kitchen and the bedroom is the author of The Cooking in Boxers, 50 Ways to Keep Your Mate in Bed, Chef Mark Bailey. Welcome to Arise 360. Thank you. Thank you for but having me. But we're in the boxers. Why are you fooling? Uh -oh. Well, when, how about I come back when the book is out and I will <laughs> do the boxer thing then? Well, I mean, you could do it now. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. No wardrobe malfunctions No wardrobe today. Family show. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the title. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on. That is very provocative. Well, you know, you got to add a little spice to breakfast in bed, I think. Okay. So, you know, I'm, I cook in my boxes. I'm just going to put that out there. I'm not that suggesting that everybody, I'm not suggesting everyone do. <laughs> I don't want to be liable for that. Mm. But, you know, it is the idea of getting out of bed, making breakfast, and bringing it back. And, hey, you Look never know what seconds might happen. Oh, okay. <laughs> Breakfast okay. and dessert. All in one. All, All right. in one. Well, look no. at that cover. Oh, uh, and boxers. The, trust me, that was a lot of work, and I have oh, the fat gosh. gene, so uh, yeah, it uh, really was a lot of work. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, talk to us a little bit about why you decided to do, the, do this particular book. Um, well, I am a breakfast guru, okay. so I mean, I do love breakfast. Uh, it is my favorite meal of the day, mm -hmm. um, so that's number one. But I also understand the importance. I, I made a little point there about my fat gene. Mm -hmm. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, and so trying to maintain a healthy, balanced weight and everything, you have to have breakfast in the morning. Mm -hmm. okay. So that's really why I decided to focus on that first. Okay, so let's talk about the book. What are some of the recipes that are featured? You know, it's mm -hmm. my twist on some of the classics, like, you know, Eggs Benedict, you know, mm. um, chicken and waffles, Ooh. you know, so I keep it kind of fun, mm. you know, and then there's some new things that like my uh, uh, steak on challah French toast, <gasps> you know, which is similar to some of the stuff we're going to be having today. Oh, Can't my wait. goodness. <laughs> okay. But it's 50, 50 of my favorite breakfast recipes, oh, so nice. yeah. Now, are these Definitely. a lot of, and I know you keep saying you have the fat genes, so are these healthy options for You know breakfast? what? No. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're keeping with the fat gene. No. Okay. You know, my thing that. is everything and anything in moderation. Absolutely. Okay. So, you know, while I am putting out a book with a lot of butter and some sugar and stuff in there and I'm not suggesting anyone eat this every morning. No. Oh man, well that's In sucks. fact, breakfast in bed should be, you know, a special occasion, yeah, I feel like, you know, so it doesn't indulge occasionally. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> so as a breakfast guru, where yeah. did you get your sizzling skills from? You know what? I, I think it yes, definitely. I was raised predominantly by the women in my family, mm -hmm. so I think that means you spend a lot of time in the kitchen. And granted I wasn't necessarily helping, but I was certainly paying attention, and I think that's what really planted the seed as far as me having this chef life afterwards. And you're Jamaican. Yes, yes. But well, we have holla. <laughs> <laughs> well, born in the Bronx to Jamaican parents, okay. so I'm Jamaican. You're Jamaican. Exactly. Okay. So that kind of works in terms of all the different types of cuisines that I, you know, get to dabble in. And raised in New York City, mm -hmm. you're exposed to so much. That's so I true. love Asian. I'm looking at fusing Asian with Caribbean a lot. Mm. I don't know if you know Chinese Jamaican food does exist. Oh, yes, absolutely. So, yeah, so that's one of the things I'm looking to really adventure in, besides oh. breakfast. All so, right, so let's do this. Uh -oh. Let's oh, get the party so started. You ready to start cooking? Okay, yes. Okay, so do first thing here? we're doing is we're making our custard. So in here I have eight eggs. Okay. And you're going to add things, as I mentioned them. Well, real, real quick, how mm -hmm. many people is this going to be made for? Well, it's eggs. a casserole, so I mean, at the same time, you're not going to make okay. a little bit of a French right, toast right, bake. Right, 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 even though it might just be for two, you're still going to have leftovers and stuff like that. But it is for, you know, at least four or five. It depends. I'm not going to say you have that many people in your bed. But, hey. Okay, There we go. Eight eggs. Some um, half and half, two cups of half and half, and if you could put that in there, that'd be great. Uh -oh. So I'm just um, cooking? Yeah, oh, you're, just, you're, just, you're just gonna pour it in there nice and slowly. Okay. Yeah, there it is. You can do it. I know you're oh. in the kitchen a lot. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, I'll mention something. That's agave. I use agave instead of sugar sometimes. Oh, that's a way to cut calories. Uh, yeah, you can definitely use agave. So that's okay. that. You can definitely pour that in there, Shane, if you like. Or, uh, well, it doesn't matter. Is this that agave? Right? Yeah, that's right agave. Here. Right I, was there. Looking, I was looking like, which one? <laughs> uh, so this is. That's a sweetener. Yeah, okay. You know, and then, you know, shallow bread is sweet as it is. So you really don't need that much. Okay. You know, it depends. Um, these are little spices I put in there, which is cinnamon, nutmeg, okay. and mm. a little ginger. I love cinnamon and nutmeg. Mm. Yeah, and that Smells ginger fantastic. in there kind of yeah. adds a little bit of spice to it. You okay. know, you, you hear about pumpkin spice latte and mm -hmm. all this stuff. That's the spice in there. Okay. There's the pumpkin, so oh. you definitely can add about, that's about a cup of pureed pumpkin. Now, you can get this out of the can, right? You this can, but make sure you don't get the um, the pie, because there's two different types. You oh. want to get make sure it's pureed pumpkin and not necessarily the pie, okay. the pie mix that okay. you're making the okay. pie Got with. All the so you dump in there. that in there, right. And Got then it. you just, really that simple. You just create your custard, mix that up. Okay, you can go ahead and do that. I'll oh, do gosh. that. <laughs> oh, come on. No, no it's very exciting. Gosh. But yeah, go. you're just gonna mix it really, really well. Okay. And then what you're gonna do is just ladle some of that into now, over your bread. And you wanna make sure you kinda get it all in. What's the difference there. between using this and like a blender? Like, should we, how do we know well, you the consistency beat, this should be before we pour I, it just on? Just mix it well, really. Just, it's not really any science to it yeah. as far as getting it so mixed. So can I just pour it on this? You I can, guess? but I, you know, I don't wanna make too much of a mess. <laughs> but, and do we make sure but you know, wait, I still see some full eggs in here. 
Okay. That's fine. We're gonna, we're gonna, it. yeah, just okay. beat it up. Right. And beat it for up. the purpose of TV, right, we'll just, oh. you just pour a little. You oh, mean, yeah. And what you want to do is make sure that all the bread, kind of, you're gonna use your hands and get in there and no, make sure not. all the bread, well, not now, but <laughs> oh, okay. if need be. And that's good. That's good, definitely. Okay, get it oh, all there. That looks good. Now, now, the trick is there the, supposed to be a lot of liquid left? Yes. And the bread, the, what it'll okay. do is the bread will absorb a lot of yeah. that up. Oh, so you're gonna put okay. it in the refrigerator for like about an hour. Okay. An hour, two hours, or even overnight. Oh, wait, you put it in the refrigerator for Yes. At this stage, you put it in the refrigerator for about two hours. So it can really absorb oh, yes. all the juices. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then when it comes out, right, yeah. you're going to add a little topping on it. Wait. Oh, we're gonna add it. This is the topping. Yeah, this is flour. Pour that on. Um, sure. <laughs> flour. It. Yeah, flour, butter, like and some brown sugar. It's like a topping. So that's going to melt and be really delicious. Uh, so this is a mixture of butter and brown sugar, brown flour, sugar, little flour. pinch of salt, and it's, some cinnamon and nutmeg in there as so well. So it's almost like a crumb topping, topping yeah. of some sort? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. it's a streusel topping, actually. Streusel? Streusel topping. Streusel. <laughs> exactly. And now we're going to put this in that the oven. That goes in the oven. How high? 350 degrees for, for how 45 long? minutes. 350 for 45 minutes? Yes, and then and it will pop out bleep. looking something like this. 45 minutes is done. Wow. Voila. OMG. Yes. That looks oh, yeah. amazing. Can this be my spoon? That looks so good. <laughs> <laughs> no. okay. We have little spoons here. Yeah, little spoons, and I actually have a piece here already cut. Oh, there thank you. you. Go. That's wow. what it'll look like. And this is a perfect time of year for something made Definitely. with pumpkin, French of toast. Of course, and yeah. Definitely, and then this you have some syrup here food. if you want a little extra. I mix a little brandy with my syrup sometimes. Oh, so that's what it is. It's like a brandy syrup. Oh, yes, exactly. Wow, you have you to know, give hey. us that recipe. Uh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> brandy and syrup, I've never heard of that. And it's really quick it's okay. really really simple so yeah mm -hmm. just um I might be able to make this at home my wife has already told me you better learn that recipe you're gonna, you're, so. yes exactly <laughs> she's gonna be expecting it this weekend oh my god how about you Lola right. something you can make oh sure oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> she's like yeah, she's yeah right, uh -huh. exactly I may need yeah. a few more lessons but I can do it now no. Chef no. Bailey it's as pretty we... easy actually if you think about it it's mm -hmm. pretty easy it is recipe. easy it's, it's very just straightforward dump, you just dump everything on there and yeah and then in the oven and next thing you know it's done it's done okay so let's Exactly. See how the finished product tastes and now that Lola and I are professional cookers. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm. yeah. You might not even need syrup sometimes. No. Some people mm -hmm. like to have it just like... It's sweet exactly. enough. It's sweet enough. You don't even need that, exactly. And here's the right spot. I'm obsessed now, with this. Uh -oh. While we continue to eat, tell us a little bit about your appearances on TLC's, what is it, Leave, Leave it, it to Nisi. Yes. Now, I, how did that change your life? Because that was really a starting point for your TV career, it right? It definitely was. Mm. When I met Nisi and she asked me to come and help her prepare a Jamaican dinner uh -huh. for her husband, six-month anniversary, I was super excited. And um, it was great. It was a lot of fun. We made jerk chicken. You know, um, and the funny thing is that kind of planted the seed because I really do enjoy teaching people how to cook. Mm. My motto is kind of like, if, you know, if you can eat, you can cook. And so when I help people make certain meals or whatever, it kind of just shows them that it's really not that hard. Mm. So we had a lot of fun doing that, and her husband enjoyed the meal, even though I think she <laughs> fibbed a little and said she made it. Oh, yeah, she did. She <laughs> <laughs> said you just helped out a little bit. Just a little bit, exactly, <laughs> right, and, you know. Voila, the whole meal mm -hmm. was done. But that was a lot of fun. It was great. Okay. It was great. Great opportunity. I'm so quiet Love right her. now. <laughs> she's, oh. <laughs> she's enjoying it. <laughs> so is she as much it fun as It tastes like looks? a dessert. It can't, you know, and people say, oh, it's like a bread pudding. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, when you get that cinnamon and all those other things in there, you know, it's breakfast. Mm -hmm. you know? So nice. You so what's next for you? More reality appearances? What's Probably, going on? Oh, hopefully. I mean, oh, that's... A cooking show? What's yes. Going well, on? I definitely... I'm on eHow.com a lot, and mm -hmm. I do a lot of cooking demonstrations on there. Once again, I love to teach people how to make meals and really, really simple. And then I really am looking to venture into this whole cooking course thing and really teach people, couples more so, mm -hmm. how to make... You know, we will start with breakfast. And we'll breakfast. Do, yeah, exactly. Because people find breakfast to be a little bit less intimidating. Mm -hmm. So maybe I'll start with some doing some things like that. And then, who knows? You might have me back when I... Oh, yeah. Thanksgiving Giving Christmas yeah. right. book. I want that, that jerk chicken recipe too. Right. Yes, jerk chicken. <laughs> well, you know what? Jerk turkey is amazing. Even Marcel, and she loves oh, yeah. my jerk turkey. Mm -hmm. So that is a hot, hot, hot dish for things. And jerk really spicy. Turkey. Jerk turkey. I've never heard of that. Definitely. Oh. Now, you mentioned people being intimidated to cook, and I can understand why. Mm -hmm. But for those that are a little intimidated, what type of tips can you give them to build up the courage to be able to get in the kitchen? You know what? Keep it simple. 
I, I always tell people keep it simple because I think sometimes when you watch these cooking shows sometimes and it, you know it, definitely if it's baking you can get really really intimidated by right. the the portions and everything being exactly right. Oh, yeah, I, hate I that. say keep it simple. You know, start with things that are just toppings. You know, like where you bake maybe your your meat and then you just put a topping on it because okay. making the topping sometimes is really simple, just three or four or five different mm -hmm. ingredients instead of you know um, stewing things because that takes so much more energy and time and knowing exactly how long and stuff like that. So I say keep it simple. Five ingredients tops okay. you know don't try to have too many ingredients and breakfast is a great place to start <laughs> to start right, right. it's uh, not just eggs anymore i really I'm to I make people... some amazing eggs but never mind <laughs> that's my, my it's breakfast not staple. just <laughs> eggs i'm trying to like start a revolution here and people realize oh, that it can be funny. anything from crab to really? lobster to yeah definitely oh you'll God. see it'll be in the book it'll definitely recipe. be in the book okay it's gonna be okay. in the book where can people get the book right now you can pre-request it on my website okay. jeffbailey.com and definitely you will be notified the minute it hits a bookshelf near you. Oh, right. Okay. Nice. Well, next time we're getting jerk chicken. Thank you so right. much for breakfast. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. You're very welcome. It definitely. is delicious. It <laughs> is delicious. <laughs> I'm going to take this home so I don't have to make it. Oh, oh, okay, right, right, right. Okay. <laughs> no, you're not. That's mine. I'll just sit here and eat this one then. And you're watching Arise Entertainment 360.